Hello and welcome to another episode of the Infobots. This is episode number 79 and I am your host, author Frederick Fishman. Uh, Today we are sponsored by me. So for links to all of my books, apparel, and gear, go to my main Infobots website at infobots.com. Let's spell the two T's at the end, if you please. That's infobots.com. And you can also help us out and show your support by visiting our Patreon page at www.patreon, spelled P-A-T-R-E-O-N, patreon.com forward slash infobots podcast. And please check out our new educational membership website with numerous multimedia elements about the animal kingdom. And that's at www.animals-central.com. That's www.animals-central.com. Several days ago, I mentioned a new feature we were adding to that Animal Central website called My Favorite Animal, where you can record for the world to hear what your favorite animal is and why. And one gentleman from India sent us his recording. And if you want to record the thoughts about your favorite animal, you can do so by going to animals-central.com or you can do it directly by going to speakpipe, speakpipe.com forward slash my favorite animal. That's speakpipe.com forward slash my favorite animal. Okay, let's hear what that very first My Favorite Animal recording sounds like. And this is from uh, Mr. Nicholas Bean, and he is from India. This is Nicholas Bean from India, and my favorite animal is the elephant because she lets me ride up on top of her, and I can see everywhere all around a wonderful view while we're riding. And thank you very much, Nicholas, for sending that in to us. Okay, let's get started. Our first top 10 animals on the Indian subcontinent was the Bengal tiger. So, Nicholas, thank you for sending in that My Favorite Animal recording. And because of you, I thought, you know what, let's talk about the Indian elephant. Now, the Indian elephant is one of three extant recognized subspecies of of the Asian elephant. The Asian elephant has been on decline at least 50% since the 1930s to the 1940s. That equals three elephant generations. The elephant in Asia is threatened by habitat loss, degradation of their territory, and fragmentation of their territory. Indian elephants have smaller ears than their African elephant cousins, but relatively broader skulls and larger trunks than African elephants. Toes are large and broad, and unlike their African cousins, Their abdomen is proportionate with their body weight, but the African elephant has a large abdomen as compared to their skulls. In general, Asian elephants are smaller than African elephants and have the highest body point on the head. The tip of their trunk has one finger process. Their back is convex or level. Indian elephants reach a shoulder height of between 2 and 3.5 meters or 6.6 to 11.5 feet. And they weigh anywhere between 2,000 and 5,000 kilograms or 4,400 to 11,000 pounds. And they have 19 pairs of ribs. The Indian elephant has uh, 11.3 feet in height at the shoulder on, on average. In 1985, two large elephant bulls were spotted for the first time in the Bardia National Park. They roamed the park area together and occasionally visited female herds. 
One elephant stood 11.3 feet tall at the shoulder and had a massive body weight. His forehead and domes were more prominent than other Asian bull elephants, and his appearance has been compared that to the stegodon or the mammoth due to his bi-domed shaped head. Elephants are classified as mega herbivores and can consume up to 330 pounds of plant matter per day. They are generalist feeders, both grazers and browsers. The Indian elephant is native to mainland Asia and they're found in the countries of India, Nepal, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Myanmar, Thailand, Malay Peninsula, Laos, China, Cambodia, and Vietnam. It is regionally extinct in Pakistan. It inhabits grasslands, dry deciduous, moist deciduous, evergreen, and semi-evergreen forests. In the early 1990s, estimated wild population included between 27,700 to 31,300 in India, where populations are restricted to four general areas. Poaching of elephants for ivory is a serious threat in some parts of Asia. Poaching of tusker impacts on sex ratios that become highly female biased and genetic variation is reduced. Poaching has dramatically skewered adult sex ratios in the Periyar Tiger Reserve where between 1969 and 1989 the adult male to female sex ratio changed from 1 to 6 to 1 in 122. Project Elephant was launched in 1992 by the Government of India Ministry of Environment and Forests to provide financial and technical support of wildlife management efforts by states for their free-ranging populations of wild Asian elephants. The project aims to ensure long-term survival of viable conservation-reliant populations of elephants in their natural habitats by protecting the elephants, their habitats, and their migration corridors. Other goals of Project Elephant are supporting research of the ecology and management of elephants, creating conservation awareness among local people, providing improved veterinary care for captive elephants. So there you go, a little bit of information about the Indian elephant. So I want to thank you very much for listening to this episode of the InfoBots podcast. And please support our efforts here to bring you InfoBots by going to patreon.com forward slash InfoBots podcast. And be sure to join us for another episode of the InfoBots. Bye-bye.